This is a demonstration of my final project for CS145. My name is Raven and I'm a junior majoring in CS. I'm currently in Moscow on the BIM program which explains why I have to do this through a video. So this is my site, DBay, and it's named after the databases. Um, it's built on pure PHP and without the use of any framework. Uh, I use Bootstrap for some of the layout purposes. Um, so uh, let's look at the main auction view. Now this is the main view of all the auctions available in the system. And we can see here that one of the things I decided to do is to have human readable dates and times, just like eBay. Uh, and it's color coded based on the amount of time left. And if we look further into the future, we can see uh, 28th December and things like that. So like one week, three days left. Right. And there are different ways. Oh, and also you will notice that the timing of the auctions actually update in real time. So here we have an auction that's 15 seconds left. If you refresh it, it has four seconds left. And if we refresh it, it's gone. Um, so I will elaborate further on how this is done later. But um, also you'll notice that we have different ways of filtering the, for the different uh, options. So, for example, we can show things with only the buy price, which um, basically means a buy it now option. Um, one thing I've decided to do is to have a pagination system. So we can page through the auction listing. And this is done with the SQL limit um, keyword. So you use limit and you offset it to the page you want um, based on some simple arithmetic. So when the this pagination actually works with the filters. So if for example if you filter for show buy only, there are far fewer items and at the same time the number of pages uh, is updated correctly. So now let's go back to the auction time. So the auction times are updated in real time, kind of. And um, how this works is um, Let's go to the admin. So now I'm logged in as the admin user. I can go to the admin page. And this is basically where the um, timing options are. So we see here that uh, 1,900 seconds have elapsed since the clock was set. So each time the clock is set, we, we, we remember, we keep a counter of how many seconds have, has uh, elapsed since then. And therefore advance the clock by that much. Um, we can also pause the clock if we want to in the options somewhere. I forgot where that was. Um, so one thing I did here is that I have a logging, uh, user logging. And in this case, we are logging as the admin. If we log out, we will get an error message that this page is not, um, you cannot auto access this if you are not an admin. So the lo logging system is actually done with cookies. And this is a bit tricky to do on the Stanford servers because the Stanford PHP implementation actually prevents you from setting cookies through PHP. And you have to do this through ja a separate JavaScript uh, instead. So let's look at an auction item. So this is an example of an auction listing. And we see here that the bit history is not visible or at least the identities of the users and uh, is not known. Um, the reason uh, for this is because eBay does it and I was just trying to recreate the same uh, functionalities. So here we can sign in as the owner of this listing. And now that we are the owner, we are logging as the owner, we get to see the names of all the people who have bid on this auction. Now we see here that there are cur there's currently 11 minutes left. So let's place a bit on this item. We are logging as um, Pikachu. And we will place a bit of 20. And after we place the bit, we get to see that we are currently the highest bidder. And in the bid history, you get to see yourself in the history at $20. So now we go back to the admin and we increment the time by uh, say a day 
So now the the time has been updated, and we go back to this page and we refresh it, and we see that Pikachu is a winner of the auction. So again, right now we are not logging as Pikachu, and if we log in as the owner of the auction, we get to see that the auction has ended and it, the winner is Pikachu. And similarly, if we log in instead as um, Pikachu, right, and we, we can see that we have won the auction. Hooray! Um, right, so that's the basic gist of um, everything that I've done. Uh, the filterings. Oh, right. One final thing. So, um, this uh, layout actually uses Bootstrap. So, because I'm using Bootstrap in the way that it, it, it's specified, it actually the site itself actually scales pretty nicely. So, if you look here, it actually works pretty pretty nicely on the mobile devices. And we can go to the main page. Yep. Right, so that's about it. Um, if you would like, if you have any comments or suggestions, um, not that I'm going to be making any improvements to this system, but uh, you can contact me at uh, jcx at stanford.edu. Thank you.